Hello everyone, welcome to the channel for everything Arsenal and everything football. Thanks for being here. I hope you're all doing well. And obviously, you already know the transfer window is open. As an Arsenal fan, it's not that hard to actually figure out that the transfer window is open because you're going to hear lots of rumors after rumor after rumor. You're going to wake up on a Monday morning, Arsenal linked to this Brazilian star. The next morning, Arsenal are linked to the young German potential. The next day, Arsenal are linked with Karim Benzema, a player we should have signed 10 years ago. The next day, you get the picture. So many players, so many rumors, so much going on in the transfer market. I think Arsenal is the team that gets linked with so many players, with the most players in a transfer window. And uh, yeah, we obviously usually get like two or three and they're never even the ones that we've been linked with. But this time round... There is a player that um, obviously we look like we're going to sign and that is William from Chelsea. I actually did a video about how Arsenal could line up with William in the team like three months ago. And uh, yeah, of course, I, I knew he was going to join Arsenal and uh, I was keen on him joining Arsenal after all. So if you want to check out that video, I'll link it up in the YouTube card right now and also in the description. But in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys the three things that William is going to add at Arsenal. The three things that William is going to add at Arsenal. Of course, right now he's 32 years old. Um, people are calling him a Chelsea reject. Uh, yet another player like Czech and Luis, those players we get um like a, we make it like a retirement home instead of getting like those uh, upcoming players or players that are in their prime, you're getting players who are about to retire. And I get it, but the kind of situation we are right now financially, um, our budget players like uh it's actually good to get a player who's already uh experienced at in england sorry and um yes he's 32 but um back in the day we never used to get these players over 30 we used to sell them the moment they get to 30 but at least i've seen we've changed a bit of the arsenal culture we're getting young players mixing them with the older players and uh, i really don't mind him so let's just get into the three things that william will add at arsenal Number one is experience. Now, of course, um, in our team, as I've said, uh, the Arsenal culture, players are never really there until they're like 32, 33. Uh, we always sell these players the moment they hit 29, 30. But recently, we've been having a few players reaching 30. But again, we've been offloading them quite quickly. Someone like Mkhitaryan, 30s, is, he's gone. Ozil nowhere to be found in the squad right now. So we have Koscielny, the moment he hit 30, he was gone, although he went by himself. Matasaka, all those players, like we never keep them for that long. Even Czech himself, those players hit that kind of edge and we sell them immediately. So that always um kind of affects us because we lack experience in the team. Right now we have like seven or six youngsters, Martinelli, Willock, Nelson and all of the others that are about to come back, the Smith Rose and stuff. The only players who are above 30, Aubameyang, Socrates, Ozil who's not in the squad. Uh, maybe five players who are above 30 in the team. And uh, so we are lacking experience. The ones who are a bit older like um, Torreira and Mustafi, they haven't even really been in England for that long. Players like Bellerin, yes, he's been in England for, for long, but uh, is he really that experienced like someone like Kosielny used to be or something like that? I don't think so. So William will definitely bring experience. He's been in England for a long time. Uh, he's more experienced than those players we have in those positions. Saka, Nelson, Willock, Martinelli. Of course, William can play as a left winger where Gabi and uh, Saka play. He can play as a right winger where Reese plays. He can play in behind the striker where Willock can play. So that adds, he, has, he has more experience than those players. I'm not saying he's better, but he has more experience. And um, since Ozil is not part of the squad, Socrates could leave. Luis has had an impact on the dressing room, but not so much in the in the pitch, on the pitch, sorry. Um, Oba, is, Oba is the only one who like is above 30 and is performing on the pitch so we are really lacking in that uh in that aspect we're really lacking and i hope william can add some experience in the team he can help the likes of martinelli his country mate uh to improve we can help the nelsons uh to improve so that is the one thing he'll bring to the team experience number two is squad depth um the one good thing with william is that um 
is um is versatile. He can play as the left winger, right winger, behind the striker. He can play in different formations. Maybe in a, if you play a back three, he can play like in behind the striker or the two in behind the striker. Yeah, or he can play in the in a four four two three one. That that suits him and that can help us with him. That will help us. Uh, will help with score depth. Now the thing I noticed about Arsenal when he played the semi final in the final against uh, City and Chelsea. The time we had, uh, we could put nine subs. Of course, that will change back to the normal next uh, season. We'll have seven subs on the bench. You could clearly see that City could bring on um, Mares. They could bring on Bernardo Silva. They could bring on um, Laporte, Otamendi, Mendy, Walker, sometimes Inchenko. And if you look at Arsenal's bench, if we have Aubameyang, Pepe and Lacazette all on the pitch at the same time, we really lack both attacking-wise uh, attacking -wise and midfield-wise on the bench you'll find the youngsters the suckers the Nketiahs, Willock and uh, in midfield you might not even see anyone our bench is full of defenders Kolasinac uh, holding Cedric so many defenders on the bench nothing to to change the game attacking wise so William could help us with that if he starts the game then we could have uh, we could maybe see Pepe on the bench or if he comes from the bench we can at least have someone to turn to on the bench Luckily, someone like Aubameyang stays fit because if he got injured like for two, three, four weeks this season, we might not have had anyone to put there because um, Martinelli has been injured and Saka has been playing left back most of the time. Scored depth, attacking wise, William is very uh, crucial in that and uh, at least you can get uh, more attacking players. We have so many defenders on the bench, some that we really need to get rid of, but we'll talk about that in another video. So William, number two is squad depth. That is another thing it add to add to the Arsenal squad. Number three is the creativity and the end product. Now, of course, you know, if Aubameyang doesn't score, we never score goals. Simple. Lacazette has chipped in with some goals. Pepe has chipped in with some goals. We've had some goals from corners and stuff. The Luis, uh, Socrates, all of them have chipped in with some goals. Bellerin, Tierney. But from midfield, we have really struggled. Starting from Shaka, I think he has scored one goal. Gwendozi, I think um, he scored zero. Torreira, none. Um, Willock, maybe one or two. Nelson scored, I think, one. So from midfield, Ozil nowhere to be seen, not even in the squad. Sabayas, I think, it's scored only one goal or two goals this season. So we have really struggled in terms of getting goals from midfield, goals from midfield, both on the wing and both in behind the striker. All from all those positions in midfield, you never get goals. So William has scored uh, plenty of goals for Chelsea and getting those assists. He could help us with a few goals if Aubameyang doesn't score, if Lacazette doesn't score, if Pepe doesn't score. And uh, the players that we have, the Ozils, they're not really goal scorers. Willock, as I've said, Sabayas, Nelson, they haven't scored goals. So William can help us with the, that end product. Uh, he, a bonus is that he always scores free kicks for Chelsea. He's a very, very good set piece taker. That, in a, this, that is another thing we lack. Like I said, I, I scored one free kick last season. Obama scored this season, but it's not consistent. We thought Luis could help us with that, but he has. I think he's had like two free kicks on target out of like 100 years taken. So at least William can help us with that. So creativity and end product is why like... I know people have said they don't want him at Arsenal, but I think he's better than what we have or what we don't even have. We don't have goals from midfield and he can get some goals. So if I can get someone on a free who can get us some goals, I will get him. So number one is experience. Number two is squad depth. And number three is the end product. I'm not sure about the leadership. I don't think he's that much of a leader. I think I still, I still think we need to look for a few more leaders in the team. People with that strong mentality. But yeah, as a Brazilian, I know how hard he is. So... Let's see what he'll bring to Arsenal. Looks like he's going to sign probably this week or something. So those are the three things William is going to add at Arsenal. Let me know. Um, are you keen on us signing him? Do you did you really want him at Arsenal? Did you prefer Coutinho? Let me know in the comments section. I'll, or I've also done some live streams uh, the last few days. I'll link one in the YouTube card right now. And also in the description, I'll have more live streams talking about the transfers and the potential signings. Comment down your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching again. Keep staying safe. Obviously, more transfers coming soon. Uh, and uh, yeah, I will talk to you later.